Tonight in Austria, the whole team gets together for the first time. It's a special welcome for Carola, the Australian model who's just arrived for the championships and is featured on this year's posters. Well, when we get to Seibolden, there's going to be a lot of people asking for Carola's autograph. <laughs> The European Body Painting Festival 2003 will be started right here, right now in Seeboden at the Mittelstädter Lake. From now on you can start your paintings, your artworks, you will have time till 5 o'clock. Let's get the party started! The championships are a three-day extravaganza. Day one belongs to brush and sponge, during which 70 artists compete and only hand-painted art counts towards the judging. Yeah, they're not allowed to use anything on the body, just um, mousse and air spray, absolutely no attachments whatsoever. And then you get hungry. <laughs> really difficult because I'm here in the small village and the people that know me and to think that I would be nude and that there would be all the photographers around but it was like it was a process also in my mind something changed like the attitude I got open-minded and I it was such a good atmosphere actually there's the Australian body painting is so professional and you know you're like this this passion about doing it and they are into it and you, you know it's the work you see that they work the whole year to come here and everything I think that the the Australian crew is, is a lot stronger because they actually do a lot more body painting than a lot of other people a lot of a lot of artists enter just do little bits here and little bits there but we tend to do a lot more together so if if one of the team gets a job body painting they'll invite another one of the team along to help and vice versa so we all work together whereas a lot of body painters try and do stuff on their own we actually share out what we've got we have Carola, she's one of our favourite models, she she's went to a performing arts school, so Literally, it's the character of the model that you're looking for. It's no good if you've got a beautiful girl that just stands on the stage bland. Normally, you can tell the ones that are going to kick off on the stage, and them's the ones you want. See ya when I see ya. See ya when on I the see ya. I think it's great that we have it here in Seaborn, that we have the honour 
to have this festival and because it's so multicultural and that's always a point which is very important for me that people tell and come together from all around the world. You get 10 points for your idea, you get 10 points for your presentation, and you get 10 points for the, the uh, body painting. I think with the, you paint the canvas, you sort of paint a little bit and then you stand back and look at it. And then you paint a bit more and you might have a cup of coffee and stuff like this. But when you paint a body, it's a lot more manic, you never stop working. And at the end of it, you sit down and you're exo absolutely exhausted. Everybody thinks, oh, what a lucky fella. And you're thinking, yeah, yeah, give me a beer because that's the, the star is very bright and it shines. And the lace represents a goddess. Danke schön. Body art in its various forms has always been used for personal presentation to symbolise an ideal. From the paint box of a geisha girl to the traditional masks of the Venice Carnivale. From the hunting grounds of tribal Africa and Australia to the war paint on Britain's medieval battlefields. Fantasy reigns to create an impression. aspire to illusion and like the magician's glamoury or illusion spell body art has always been used to boost personal power at the world body painting championships these masters of illusion and their walking apparitions would be demigods Darren has been busy preparing his costume for day two, special effects. It's a work in itself, made from leftovers of industrial materials. Meanwhile, some of the judges are taking workshops in their specialised field. Airbrush expert Ernst Weiser shows his class how it's done, how to control the spray from an airbrush, how to use stencils and how to fix mistakes, along with other tricks. The water-based paint used in body painting is perfect for this technique because of its fluid makeup. So I went up. Of Airbrush gives a photographic impression. Where it's commonly used for commercial art and is notorious for sprucing up panel vans in the 70s, Ernst has reinvented the art of airbrushing to adorn the body. Tim's workshop is on brush and sponge. If you put the shimmer over the top of the paint, it gives it such a metallic bump. Yeah. When you go to, you go to uh, college or school, you've got to learn life drawing. It's, it's part of the, the, the infrastructure of learning to be an artist. So to actually body paint a different body, I mean, everybody's got a different shaped body, and then try and work it into performance, and then coming up with new ideas. The challenge is, is I'm trying to think of the, the, the new ideas before anybody else. It's better. Yeah, excellent. Bit of blue, isn't it? <laughs> no mind, accidental, accidental. Good Interesting colour, nice colour. But that's, that's, that's called it, it's the serendipity. Yeah. Oh wow, look at those flowers. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Yanni Serpka is also a judge. She's an expert in the sculptural side of body art and her workshop is dedicated to special effects. 
She's applied her craft to working on films and theatre productions. People seem to think it's easy. I once got told by a great artist that um, if you make it look easy, it means you're good at it. I don't quite know actually what it's like in Australia. I just heard that it's difficult down there uh, to accept a body painting as an art form because people are uh, slightly conservative in their attitude towards this new art form and the nude, uh, being nude and like being painted on the body. Australia has, has the um, oldest cultures in the world, the indigenous peoples, and body painting is the oldest form of art in the world. And so they should be open for it because of their personal background the country has. <laughs> Carol is trying hard to conserve her energy. The heat is on at 40 degrees and three models have already fainted. Um, I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit blue. <laughs> Spray paint it silver. Hi, Freddy. Today we make the Easy Rider. Easy Rider? Yes. The two models, uh, it's an Easy Rider and the third. It sits with a... Uh, oh, so they're sitting... Yes. So one, one's going to be the engine. Yeah. One's going to be the front of the bike. Yes. And then one's going to be the, 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 yeah, the no, rider. Exactly. Oh, good one. Okay, yeah. Einfach nicht mit dem the Fuß, the Fuß nochmal umgleichen, so the Never guess what this one is, the Tin Man. Yellow Brick Road. Is it alien? Yes. yes. And you make this also? Uh, everything. How long to make that? Three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really, really hard good week. Yeah. What's it made from? Uh, silicone, latex, and um, I don't know the Indian. Latex. Food. Tell me in uh, Deutsch uh, or. Uh, Schaum. Schaum. What? Um, Schaum. Foam. 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 <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye. Good luck. Thank you very much. Sarah is going to work on the elfin-like Laura of Germany for brush and sponge, while Darren gets Carola for special effects. Bulgaria is looking very good for airbrush. The theme for the finals is movie time, so those who've made it this far have many new ideas to present, from the literal to the abstract. How do you feel? I mean, standing here in the sun, everybody looking? Yeah. It's art, it's not uh, meant to be anything else. I've never seen anything like it in the United States. 
never, we're not as open about our bodies as they are in Europe. And I've seen it all and it's just, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just beautiful. And the artwork is fantastic. It's just great. And our, even our granddaughter loves it. The ideas are now crystallizing for movie time. From Hollywood cellular superstars and monsters to culturally specific icons where Edith Piaf can feel at home. These organic artworks are indeed personal and powerful. They are the ego amplified. With Carola's picture on this year's posters, Australia is the favourite to win. But the team are having problems. The heat is intense. Darren's Aussie glue just won't stick. Let me go and see the guy. I'm going to try one of the other special effects that's using all the latex, yeah? Don't bottle yet. At the tail end of the festival, the models head off from stage to the photo pit for a final shoot while the scores are being tallied. I'm not afraid of you! Although the physical fitness of the model doesn't come into it, performance ability probably should. This is like um, my ode to glamour in the Hollywood musicals. She's also painted black and white style, as in black and white pictures. In the 20s, they used to actually make the stars um, perform in front of the movie posters on um, opening nights. There you go. First, no one knew, even me, that we found a house, a house of art, outside of walls, a living museum. Art is a universal language spoken and understood by anybody. Art is a feeling, art is an uncontrollable desire, and body painting is an art, body painting is Kunst. Body painting, it's here today and gone tomorrow. It's the oldest art form in history with an endless stream of possibilities. And here in Europe, the World Championships are its modern day chariot. 